Hey everybody, Brian Garcia, meteorologist, National Weather Service, San Francisco Bay Area. I want to talk to you about these, uh, these skies today. It seems a little more like October 31st as opposed to September 9th, but we've got a lot of smoke in the air. And I want to share some tools with you that you might be able to use to kind of follow it on your own and see what's going on out there. So this video might be a little bit longer than normal, but bear with me because we're going to talk about some cool stuff. Okay, so one of the first things I want to show you here is what we call the Sierra Slider. And this comes courtesy of the Cooperative Institute for Research in the Atmosphere. It's actually out of Colorado, which is great. So this uh, is really nice visualization of where we can see the smoke. From the Oregon fires to the California fires, we can see a lot of that smoke development. And then we can see the transport of it. So today, the transport has really been from Northern California down across our area. And actually, if you look at it, you can see the smoke from Oregon transiting from east to west out over the Pacific. And then it gets caught up a little bit in the westerlies, so moving from west to east, and drifts back down towards California. Now, the vast majority of that smoke seems to be impacting Southern California, so think San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara counties down that way. Up in the Bay Area here, we're getting a lot of the smoke that's causing our apocalyptic look outside, really from the fires in California. This is a great map to look at and that you can follow on your own. All you have to do is refresh it. You can zoom and it'll reload and, and animate and all this sort of stuff. It's, uh, it's a fantastic tool to use. There are also a lot of different uh, bands that you can look at. So you can explore these as you would like. So really interesting to uh, use. The other one that we like to use here is actually fire.airnow.gov. This is a compilation of air quality sensors across the country, as a matter of fact. But we're scrolled in here. Actually, let me scroll out just a little bit and show you exactly what it looks like from the uh, United States level. And now this doesn't look like it's going to let me do it. It's lagging on me. So I'm going to pause here and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is what it would look like from a national level. And then from here, you can see all the gray outlines. That's actually where uh, smoke is uh, showing up, probably from satellite derived fields. So they try to map it out as best they can, as well as concentrations. So when you see the darker gray, that means it's a higher concentration. So you see a lot of greens. The greens are good air quality down to the magentas like you see here in Oregon or even parts of Northern California. That's the very unhealthy air quality. And this pulls together all of the sensors that they could potentially get their hands on. So you see a lot of sensors around the Bay Area. And this time of day, it's about a quarter after two on, oh God, what is today? Wednesday. <laughs> the night uh, you're seeing a lot of yellow around the Bay Area and you can click on any of these and you'll see that it's a low cost sensor from Purple Air so those are the ones that you can kind of take with a grain of salt but check with its nearest neighbor and you can see what kind of uh, uh, source it is out there so it might actually be uh, a good measurement and you can base that off the nearest neighbor test so you can click on the dots and the triangles as well to get some more data out of that. I tried clicking on triangle there. Here we go. This is provided by Air Now, so this is a permanent monitor, and this is a government-owned sensor. It's actually pretty, pretty good quality, and you can see the uh, ranking there. You can also click on the question mark and uh, find out some information about that reading. So that's another source for you to use. One of the other things that we like to look at is what we call our coastal wind profilers and this comes to us from the naval postgraduate school in monterey and so you can click on bodega bay or ford ord those are probably the two closest to the bay area if we click on bodega bay you can see here that this this blue area essentially is cooler temperatures and it gives us an idea of the height of the marine layer above it it starts to be a, a slightly less cool temperature and then out here it's uh it's yellowish orange, so that's the warmer temperatures. So the left is the latest time here. And we can see the marine layer is about uh, 1,500 feet deep or so. Um, it's about 500 meters. So when we get into this range, we know that there's a low level inversion. Things can get trapped under here. So that's what we're looking at for this. And then this is typically a little bit better of a mixed atmosphere above. So we can kind of get a layer of uh, mixing up here. 
and it also gives you the wind a uh, wind estimate of what it might be up at that altitude and then we compare that to what it is at Fort Ord and we kind of get an idea it's about 450 maybe 500 meters somewhere in there so a little less uh, a little warmer aloft so a little bit more mixing so we can kind of get a look at that so that's a great tool from the Naval Postgraduate School and then finally we have what is uh, known as the high resolution rapid refresh page and this is all about smoke forecasting in this one so what I would tell you guys to do in order to find this tell you all to do to find this just type in H triple R and then smoke and just go for it and in your favorite search engine it should come up with an experimental smoke forecast click on that it'll bring you to this page and there are two things you want to do here one if you're interested in California, do the Southwest domain. So that'll be our area. And then two, you want to find a model run that goes out farther in time. So the latest model run's still filling in. If we go one back, it goes out to 20 hours. But if you go with the 0Z or 12Z runs, so if I can find my number 12 there, you can see it goes out a lot farther in time. So they go out a full 48 hours from 12Z and 0Z, whereas the off hours, they don't go as far. From here, you have a couple options. You can use near surface smoke. So it tries to give the best estimate of where smoke might be in the near surface environment. Or my favorite, you can look at vertically integrated smoke. So it gives you an idea of what the smoke would be through the entire column of the atmosphere and so we're just gonna click on this run the loop and see what it shows so the smoke here you can see that the purples are a higher concentration of smoke and the obviously the whites are no smoke concentration expected and so as we go out in time you can see that smoke slowly dissipating over time over the Bay Area from west to east as we start to change uh, change the weather pattern. So hopefully we can start shoving this out and hopefully by Thursday we'll thin the smoke a little bit so that we'll actually see a little bit more sun. I do want to put a couple caveats on this because you will not be able to tell what uh, we can't tell what the fire is going to do in terms of smoke production so it really depends upon the fire behavior that's not modeled well so we have to wait until we actually see smoke coming off of it and combine that with smoke already in the atmosphere to give a projection so this is not a perfect forecast so just be pre-warned so with that those are a couple tools that you can use uh, again we have the cirrus slider we have the airnow.gov fire.airnow.gov we have the Naval Postgraduate School coastal profiler to get a sense of the marine layer. And then we have the high resolution rapid refresh smoke model. So those are some tools that you can actually use to kind of track this on your own on the web. See what's going on and see where the smoke might be going and see if we can actually uh, expect these skies to clear or not. So with that, I want to say make sure that you take care of yourself, take care of each other, take care of your pets and be good to each other. See everybody. Bye.